he's just flying around with his war prism. Hmm. Not done any. Yeah, he has done the carrier upgrade, I, I guess, with that you get four interceptors. And the air weapons is continuing. Let's check at units. I have uh, now an advantage in probes. He has been cutting probes. He has. Is that nine or. Actually, now that's three carriers. And 22 interceptors. Pretty scary. But this army is. Yeah. It's not that bad against that kind of game. Game plan. Okay, now I transferred my. Some SCVs going for both refineries. Uh, I don't know why. I could have. I had some. This being gas stacked and uh, this build is going to need mostly minerals for marines. Okay, now he has finally. He never transferred anything because I have this SCV hanging around here and he doesn't want to give this expansion away. So he's building there. But he could have gone to Warp Prism, of course. So yeah, uh, he's moving carriers. I, I I don't know if I know how many he has, but I can just I can figure if he has a few. Yeah, but anyway, Platinum League, <coughs> that feels pretty pretty scary. I have no idea how I will survive over there. They will eat me alive. <laughs> but I'll make the best of it. Just have to practice some more. Mostly protos though, but I think I will play a few turn games. Now I'm like, now I need to move out. I have four medvacs, plenty of marines, 55 marines to be exact. I'm moving out. Let's look at it from my side, yeah. And <laughs> those medi first two medvacs were completely useless, sniped by the carriers. And he used the ledge to his advantage and just escaped from me. And what else? Yeah, I'm scouting. Ah, he's scouting with, with an overseer. Observer, not an overseer. Checking out. Okay, he still has no expansion. This is pretty good. And I still have no idea of that expansion. Let's look at the income tab. I'm a bit ahead because I have more 38 harvesters compared to his 32. Uh, let's go back to units. Or actually, army. It's easier to see. I'm ahead in army. Okay. He attacks me. I lose plenty of interceptors. That's a very that's kind of why marines are so good. They shoot down the interceptors, making the carrier carriers like null and void. You know, they are of course also going for these destructible rocks over here because so I want to expand. Thinking that he's completely shut in his base. A good plan is often to out expand your opponent, go everywhere macro up and just squash him in the end and now I, now I sc <laughs> scan this so moving my force over there thinking no 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 you're not gonna have this expansion no not when I'm I have some marines here no way that that's going to happen he's transferring or actually just running away but he doesn't know that I have a squadron of uh, marines here as well Hunting them down. I should really move these as well. Uh, okay, I guess I was busy over here destroying his expansion. Plenty of marines. Now let's go to unit tab again. He has only 14 interceptors. There we see. He has plenty of carriers. Seven, or oh, no, six as of now. But marines counter, counter them pretty well. And I don't know why I'm not moving over here. Maybe I'm too busy with something. This is not good. <laughs> I didn't notice that in game. I just noticed now when I'm making this commentary. Okay, I still have. Yeah, one thing that happened. He was here, sniped one of my barracks. Or, no, what I'm saying. I just moved it myself. Going for that tech lab to get steam packs and shields. Right now, he's moving down the map, just going for that lone simulator. And now I have a pretty good idea that he has no expansions. But he's moving out with his small fleet over here towards my main. Something which I have no idea about. Yeah. And now, out of the shroud, he comes assaulting my base. Okay, here I was putting up two extra racks. 
and but he's sniping my starport and my towers trying to get my forces back over there I was thinking first that I will will play some base race sending my forces into him but, but uh, considering that I have two bases and all these so it was better to just protect my main instead of going for that risky strategy of course this is mined out right now but I still have some production facilities over here which I want to protect we should really go over here and check what else is going on okay we draw the carriers not losing too much that's a pretty good assault from his part from his side destroying some buildings not losing very much oh and what do we have here a mothership something that I have scouted no seven carriers as of now it's pretty long game still some to go it's just replenishing interceptors and now securing this high yield very important especially because my main was mined out and okay the saturation over here this is pretty poor I don't know where all my actually I do know <laughs> I transferred almost everything to the high yield to boost my economy as you see here I've, I've been lacking in macro almost 3000 of each mineral compared to him he, he has done everything over here and he's mined out so basically this is what he got now is what he got has you know and also going for an expansion without destroying the rocks making it not very efficient but at least okay he needs some resources so I can understand him now do, moving around with my marines and deciding to push soon enough rebuilding some racks going for quite many racks and I, saw, I think I saw him moving with his carriers over here so I wanted to intercept him maybe even steam pack I think of the steam pack right here uh, yeah right now but of course he managed to escape and I only have a few marines up on the high ground able to fire and he moved his mothership cloaking the units right now I'm not entirely certain even though I should be because I know that he can't have too many expansions or any kind of mineral income and just because I have that much minerals in the bank I'm trying to just increase my capacity all the time going for more racks and now I see him again moving in against my base over here and I need to move my forces past these racks to engage and he snipes my orbital command over here so it's not good for me and I need to use scan to see them and use the void ability to kind of decimate my forces for a min minute or two uh, nothing so he has free reign in my base oh no but of course the void doesn't last forever and now I'm back able to maybe push him back from the base knowing that if I just survive his carrier fleet I will be okay also go for some more racks over here mass racks I don't know how many I have in, I have in total uh, I have 6 over here this, this makes 10 I think 13 racks currently I made another void over here but he, I got him to retreat he has only one interceptor currently so I did a good